Good morning, everybody. This is To The Point with Tanya Tyler on Outdoor Trail Magazine. Today, we have Alton Jones on the show. He's a four-time Bassmaster winner and a member of the Millionaires Club. How you doing, Alton? Good, Tanya. It's great to be with you this morning. Oh, thank you so much. You're currently in 33rd in the points with only one tournament to go. How big of a goal is making the Classic since only the top 36 in points make it? Well, it really is the culmination of a year and your whole season. Uh, the success or failure of it, the way I gauge it, really bases more around qualifying for that Bassmasters Classic than any other thing. So needless to say, there's a lot of, lot of nail-biting going on at the Jones family household right now <laughs> as we uh, get ready for Toho. So now what is your strategy for Toho? Are you going to fish a little bit more conservative than usual? Well, you know, it, it, it's interesting. I'm, I'm not sure I really know how to do that. Um, you know, basically my, my goal at this tournament will be the same as every tournament, and that's going to be to go out and try to find as many of the biggest bass as I possibly can. You know, that said, I guess, I guess by fishing conservative, the one thing that I, I won't be doing is I won't be taking any huge risks. In other words, if, if there's a pot, I think, well, I can make a 100-mile run and I might win the tournament, or, but I might miss the lock and not make it back for a weigh-in or things like that, I won't be attempting anything highly risky like that. So let's go to the listeners and talk what we love bass fishing. Michelle from Texas is a huge fan and loves how you make an effort to include your Christian beliefs in your fishing. Has your faith helped in your fishing career? Well, you know, my, my faith, it helps me not only in my fishing career, but in life in general, but specifically in my fishing um, you know, fishing is a sport that, that leaves, a, uh, there, there's a lot that I can't control, and it just reminds me completely that I need to trust those things over, over to the Lord. I don't need to get upset when things don't go my way, when the, the conditions are not the way I like them, or if my pattern leaves. I realize that God's in control of the fish of the sea and the birds of the air and all the, all the created creatures, and I, I go out and I try my hardest and completely leave the results up to Him, but you know, that, that foundation of faith really takes a lot of the pressure off me because I know God is going to meet my needs constantly. Meeting my needs may not mean I'm going to win every tournament because, you know, sometimes we can get our, I think we get our needs and our wants kind of confused, but uh, he, uh, he takes care of me and my family. That's true. Needs and wants are totally different. Yeah. Talking to Alton Jones right now on the phone, Rob from Arkansas wants to know if you have developed any products for your sponsor. Um, well, I've, I've been instrumental actually in developing several. I had, had a lot of input on uh, on the booyah jig, uh, you know, there's a lot more to just to a jig than just a, than just being a jig. There's this, you you take into consideration the head shape, the angle of the hook, the angle of the weed guard, all different things that come together to make that jig either uh, successful or not. Harold from Tennessee loves flipping grass mats, but has a hard time finding the right cover that holds fish. Any advice on that? Yeah, that's great, Harold. Let me tell you what you really want to look for on mat fishing. You don't want mats that are completely choked from top to bottom. The key is finding mats that, although they, they may look completely choked from dealing with the surface, they'll be hollow underneath. And uh, a lot of times, hydrilla in particular, it'll come up and it'll canopy over, and though it looks solid, there'll be big open, open vacancies under that grass where those bass can hide. And those are the kind of places you want to punch through. Uh, if, it's, if you can tell that it's literally thick top to bottom, go find you another mat. Here's another key. If you can hear bluegill and small uh, sunfish, you'll hear a little slight, slight, almost like a kiss or a sucking sound underneath. If you hear that, that tells you that it's open underneath and there's smaller fish feeding under that mat. That's the mat you want to flip. That's great advice. Coming from Alton Jones right now, Terrell from Georgia wants to know, this is when you get to brag a little bit, Alton, what's the biggest bass you have ever caught in a tournament? Uh, the biggest bass I've ever caught in a, in, a, in a tournament was actually in a Bassmaster tournament on the Harris Chain about three years ago, and it weighed 10 pounds, 13 ounces. The interesting thing about that particular fish was that was not only the first tournament of the season, but it was literally the first cast I made during the first tournament of that season. So I opened my season with a 10-pound, 13-inch kicker, uh, and that does a great thing for your confidence when that happens. Definitely good things for your confidence on that. Jacob from Tennessee asks, how can he get better on locating bigger fish on tournament day? Well, Jacob, you know, one thing I, I can't emphasize enough is listen to your practice day. In other words, did you only get bites in one particular location? If so, you probably really need to fish that particular location and fish it hard. If you got bites on several different places around the lake, that tells you that generally the fish in the lake are, are widely scattered and very active, and so you probably need to cover a lot of water. The other thing that's important to me is to realize when a plan isn't working. And if it's not, don't be afraid to take tournament day and make it into another practice day. Alton, this is when we have to say goodbye, and thank you so much for all of your great fishing tips and advice to everyone. Good luck with Toho. Well, thank you so much, and, and, and God bless everybody. To the Point with Tanya Tyler and Outdoor Trail Magazine.